Welcome back to Satisfactory, and it's time to set up our assemblers for modular frames. First, we got this geyser here. It's an impure geyser, but it's something. Let's just put a geothermal generator over it. This is uh, right next to my base. There we go. 50 to 150 megawatts. Not a lot. But every little bit helps. I still don't have batteries. Uh, but we will get to that. Later sometime. Alright, let's head over to the base. Or to the modular frame factory. Alright, here I am. Everything is running. You can see down here, I've got the assemblers for the reinforced iron plates. I have a second row up here of 13. I've got all the conveyor belts connected. Let's turn our flashlight on. We've got uh, iron plates coming here, being split right here. And half of them are going to this level. The other half are going up to that level. And all of the assemblers are just repeated one level above here. So I've got all the assemblers set up for reinforced iron plates. Um, I think that's 144 reinforced iron plates per minute. And I'm going to turn those into 144 times... over to 216 modular frames per minute because the ratio of um, plates to frames is uh, two-thirds and I think I'm just gonna do the modular frames up here there's a lot of space we're going to need, I already calculated it, 72 assemblers. That's kind of crazy. And um, if we do 72 divides by 3 evenly, 24, 18. So we could do, th we could do, um, Three rows of 24 assemblers going this way. Three rows. Or four rows of 18 assemblers. Uh, one of those should fit. Let's just uh, put down some foundations here. There's the manta ray. I don't think my factory is going to be tall enough to block the flying manta ray. Okay, now I did set up modular frames. Is that the one I want? No. I made two of them. One of them is garbage. Modular frame production. Yeah, that's the one I want. Okay. So where do I want to start this? Right here. Okay. 
Okay, so I think I built everything so that this splitter here should be centered like that. I think that's centered. Let's just see how many we could fit across this length right here. Oh man, you know what I should do? This will be easier with my hover pack. There we go. Okay, I think we have an extra outlet right here. Get rid of that. Okay. Let me just uh, double check this, make sure we got 18. Sixteen and seventeen, eighteen, right. Okay, so we need to repeat this three more times across here. Uh that's gonna be close. And I'm gonna run out of concrete, I'm sure. Maybe not. I brought a lot. So, I would say, now that I have more experience with blueprints, and they really helped out a lot here, uh, make sure you know exactly what you want when you're designing the blueprint. Um, you have to make sure that you're not going to be making any changes once you put it down. Otherwise, you got to make changes to all of them. And, um... You know, try to get the, uh... If you're going to do the wall outlets like this, try to get the wall outlets in the blueprint. And, um, you cannot... Connect belts from one blueprint to another, so... Uh, you can't add belts coming... Say, out from this splitter into the splitter. You can't include that in the blueprint. They won't connect. That's my blueprint tip of the day. Oh man, this hover pack is slow. But it's not meant to be used for, you know, normal 
just getting around. It's meant to be for what I'm doing here. This uh, tedious building process. All right, let's um, let's do this again. Oh man, this is gonna be weird to line up. Uh, well, I could use the. Lock hologram thing. All right, let's pick something. That splitter right under me. Okay, that's right. Right on the edge there. That's gonna be right there. Did I get that right? Nope. Okay, that all looks good. One more. Do I want to do one more? It might be advantageous to get rid of this one and then shift the whole thing that way because all of the input and output belts are going to be coming from this side. Uh, let me just do that because I want more room on this side. And we actually have extra room on that side. Let me just fly over here. Okay, I think that's correct. That's two. Alright, let me build two more rows of this, and I'll be right back. Alright, we are back, and we've got a huge array of assemblers here. 
four rows of 18 assemblers, that's 72 total. Now for each row, we're going to need 18 times 2, 36 reinforced iron plates and uh, 180 steel pipes per row. That's a lot of pipes. So for the reinforced iron plates, we can... Let's put those on the top. Bring them in from the top here. We can just use tier 1 belts. And then for the bottom splitters here, uh, we're gonna need uh, 100, yeah, 180 steel pipes. So tier three, mark three belts. That'll be just fine. Okay, let's just hook up one row for now. So we're going to need 720 steel pipes total. That can be transferred with one Mark V conveyor belt. Amazing. Let's put a splitter right there. Did I? I messed that one up. Okay, this is going to be for the steel pipe input. I don't know how exactly we're going to get it here yet, but whatever we do, it's going to come in through here. Maybe a hole in the wall. Uh, we'll produce some of it on site. Now here is going to be... How many... 144 reinforced iron plates, right? That's how many we're making here. So... Let me just make sure, 18 times 4 times 2, 144. Yeah, that's a Mark III belt.
Alright, reinforced iron plates will also be coming from this side. Oh no, I guess this side, yeah. That's fine. Okay, we got these hooked up. Let's bring the reinforced iron plates around here. Now, as far as the outputs here, um, for each, see, that's going to be three per minute times 18, 54. Okay, so we can use uh, Mark 1 belts here. And today, my goal is to get everything done except the... ...steel pipes. Steel pipes will probably have to wait till next time. Alright, this row is... ...completely finished except one thing. I gotta connect all of these to each other. And uh, I'm going to do all of the other rows off-camera. I'm just showing this one right here. And the rest are done the same way. And this hover pack is amazing. I suggest you get yourself one. If you haven't already. Unfortunately, it is pretty far in the tech tree. Awesome. Alright, now the outputs. Is there room down here? Ooh. That's a no. We'll have to bring them... above. Well, I won't worry about the outputs because I don't know... Where we're going to output them to yet. I'm going to need to find a place. For a big old train station. Maybe in back here. Not really sure. I can bring them up and above these conveyor belts. No problem. It's not really that important right now. All right. But the reinforced iron plates. Let's head over here. Now I don't have outputs for these. Okay, we're going to bring them in this direction. The reinforced iron plates, these are working right now perfectly. They are all hooked up. And they're idle now because they're all filled up with iron plates. Ah, messed up. Alright, now we need uh, tier 2 belts.
All right, we'll do the same thing down here. Whoops. I'm trying to strike a good balance between what I do off camera and on camera. I can't do too much off camera because it just takes um, so much time and I'm playing other games. So I have to show some of this tedious uh, tedium. But I am trying to cut a bit uh, out of it. So you don't have to watch every little thing I do. Alright, now I have to merge these two. Let's see. Let's bring the output here. Onto this level. And then we can bring it around here. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a little bit awkward. Um, is that in the middle? It's got to be raised up. I don't want it to clip with that belt. And now let's use a... Oh, it's going to be too high. Oh no, I'm almost covering the limestone. Alright, I think we're okay if we come out to here. That's fine. Let's make a hole. All right, now let's get, uh, the iron 
templates from up here. Now that's the right height. Is that going to clip if I bring the belt around here? No. I think we're okay. Let's uh, get a nice corner here. There we go. All right, it's not, you know, perfectly clean, but it works pretty well. These are Mark II belts, good. Everything is the right type of belt. Now we need Mark III belts. If I make a hole there, is that okay? Um, yeah, that works. One more hole. Bah. I press the double jump and uh, I think double jump makes you fall. Oh, I did something. Oh, double crouch makes you uh, fall. Okay, good to know. All right. Whoops, I went too far. Uh, we want to go in the middle here. Okay. Go back by two. There we go. Is that the right height? That looks okay. Perfect. It's working perfectly. Now, it looks slow, but it's totally fine. These are not going to use very much product. It's only two per minute reinforced iron plates each assembler. So this is, this is okay. It's all going to get used. Now, um, let's... Let's see if we can get power to at least these, although we're not actually going to be producing anything. Um, Alright, uh, 
let's do a let's try a double uh, we don't need a, a double wall outlet now uh, where do we want it I need the uh, the Mark II outlets. I still don't have those. All right, connect it there, and uh, we'll get rid of the wall for now. And we'll keep the outlets there. And now we have power. Yes? No? No. Now we have power. All right, so they should be filling up with reinforced iron plates. But they're not going to produce anything because they do need steel pipes. What I'm going to do, I might do some of it off camera. I'm going to go ahead and scrap all of this steel. This whole steel production down here. It's not needed at all. And instead, I'm going to use this coal and iron, that iron, to make steel down here. And we're going to turn it into steel pipes. I'm also going to take coal from across the river there. It's not terribly far. There's some coal and iron over there. I can exploit. We're going to use that too. It's not going to be quite enough steel pipes for what we need, because we're going to need, I think, 720 per minute. But uh, it'll be close, and then the rest we can just train in if we need to. So uh, that's it. We're getting there. We've got everything set up except uh, the belts for the rest of these, which I'll do off camera, and the steel pipes. That is a lot of assemblers. Alright, thank you for watching.